Hello and welcome to the 18th edition of Austin FC on Football Manager 2021 here on YouTube. We have travelled over to Allianz Field for a fixture against Minnesota United managed by Adrian Heath. Austin FC are the visitors and we are looking for another three points. Some big players for Minnesota to look out for, the likes of Kevin Molino, Markel Sasseta, uh, there previously of course uh, in the A-League, and Michael Boxall is back in the side uh, following a spell out. He is a very good central defender indeed. We've been on a good run though, and we have no fear heading into the Alliance. Let's go over into the dressing room. The advice from our assistant manager, Devi Arnu, is that I want you to pick up where you left off last time out. Now that was a win. However, I always quite like uh, mentioning of the stats. So let's point a finger and then motivate a few players, including Andre Lima, uh, our striker. Bit out of form, hasn't scored uh, since coming into the side in place of Dom Dwyer. Uh, who's injured and pretty much out for the season. Uh, we're at attacked, uh, approached by Ian Lee uh, regarding Seattle. Uh, I've got nothing to say regarding Seattle. Absolutely nothing. Uh, I think we've uh, done pretty well in our preparation. I feel suitably prepared. Absolutely no problems against a team down in 7th place in Major League Soccer. Not far off ourselves. But here is the formation for Minnesota. It's a flat 4-4-2 uh, with two pretty defensive central midfielders. Uh, ourselves the usual 4-3-3 uh, with Wondolowski on the right uh, replacing Serginio. Uh, he is recovering from injury. So uh, pretty, uh, pretty astute there for us to bring in somebody with plenty of experience. We are continuing to miss the likes of Ashley Williams and of course... Uh, Dom Dwyer, uh, he has uh, suffered a pretty bad injury uh, just at the wrong time uh, for us as well. It, we have played three games uh, since last you were here. Uh, all three at home, it uh, has to be said. The first coming against Philadelphia Union. and We ran out 2-1 winners. Uh, we then hosted FC Dallas. Uh, and drew 0-0, uh, kept our run going and followed that up with a win 2-0 over San Jose Earthquakes. So pretty pleased uh, with our results. Our mentality to start with is a bit cautious. and I think as the half goes on, we'll just build up our influence in the game. As I mentioned, Serginho, our right winger, done so well for us uh, this season. Uh, unfortunately, uh, injured. And it seems that Andre Lima has also picked up a bit of a knock. Uh, looking like he wants to come off. Uh, I'm not surprised uh, a player such as him not in good form uh, as of late uh, as we seem to have our first highlight of the game and uh, it's picked up in defence by Fatai Aleshe. We'll go through the team in just a moment. Uh, Paredes is going to fire this out wide but it's cut out and here are Minnesota on the counter. That danger man Kevin Molino uh, through and there is a good tackle in defence. Now Cecilio Dominguez through to Lima. Can he finish? No, it's Boxall, as mentioned. A really good player. Uh, I am going to uh, take off uh, Andre Lima for young Ben Feely following that injury. Uh, and as we build ourselves into the game, change that to a positive mindset. Uh, Serginio recovering from injury. Dave Romney not playing. Uh, he's not fit at the moment, not ready to start. So our starting 11, we have Jonathan Klinsman in goal, uh, Bakary Sanya, right back, uh, Molinero and Parnasari are the central defensive combination. Uh, we've got Jimenez on the left and then Fatai Aleshe, as we've seen in central midfield, along with Paredes and Moreno. Wondolowski is the right winger. Dominguez, as you've just seen there, dancing through the opposition on the left. And Ben Feely now up front on for Andre Lima. Uh, as Bakary Sanya gets in a bit of a rook there, wide right. But the ball's in field. Can Feely finish? He certainly can. His first goal of the season supplied by Cecilio Dominguez, who seems to always get an assist. Really good play here. Starts with Fatai Aleshe 
Moreno involved. Dominguez, good ball round the corner. Feely takes it early. You'd expect better from, I think it's Tyler Miller in the Minnesota goal. Uh, but a bit of a tight offside. Now he's well on, isn't he? The right back there playing him well on. And he takes it early. Important that for you uh, young kids out there. Don't let the goalkeeper set himself. Get a shot off nice and early. And he won't be able to handle it. Uh, so pretty uh, pleased with how things are going so far. In terms of other fixtures, uh, Columbus Crew are 1-1 uh, with Sporting Kansas City. And there is a ball off the line by Molinaro. Now Minnesota looking to mount an attack. Coming out from uh, coming from the wide position. But it's gone for a throw in. We'll settle for that. We just need to get ourselves to half time. Uh, as Ethan Finley needs crows closing down. Not many crosses coming in from him to be fair. But we have made the decision early to pressurise him. Klinsman with the ball downfield. Inside to Fatai Aleshe. Now Feely again is through. And that is off the woodwork. Paredes keeps it alive. Wondolowski. Can he get the ball in? No, it's gone out for a throw in. Good strike there from the youngster. And he's got to do that. Not enough pressure on the ball here wide. We're just letting him fall through us. Uh, Cecilio Dominguez, again on the ball. Really good player, him. Uh, Austin FC, uh, the green and black, with a hell of a player. Feely, there he is, doing exactly what Dom Dwyer does. Uh, Miller indeed beaten at his near post. So he'll be pretty proud, I imagine, old Dwyer, to see a young kid here. Obviously learn from him in training. Great movement. Gets there before Miller and then just slots it under him. Great finish there. 25-yard ball from Paredes. Set things up. Really good uh, decision-making. Great finishing for the young man. That's exactly what you want to see from a young player taking his chance. Uh, considering that we've gone with Andre Lima for the last few games since Dwyer's injury. Uh, we have done pretty well, as mentioned. You know, Two wins and a draw in the last three uh, off uh, camera. Obviously, nothing to turn your nose up at. You'd settle for seven points every time. But... Have we missed a trick here by not including this young gun? Uh, he's obviously got a, a decent shot on him, as judged by two goals uh, within 12 first half minutes, uh, following his substitution uh, for the injured Andre Lima. Uh, it doesn't look like perhaps that injury will affect us uh, as badly as we thought, uh, but uh, it would be good just to secure all three points here at Allianz Field. I do have a bit of soft spot for Minnesota. I think they're a fantastic team. You know, they've stuck by uh, manager Adrian Heath for quite some time uh, as Parnasari comes off for Jeff Laurentovic. Plenty of experience. Another player uh, that can really just slot in as Christian Paredes uh, is about to come off with an injury. So uh, that will require uh, a bit of a change and a bit of a rethink. So... Uh, it looks like Hernan Villalba is probably the best choice uh, to come on. Uh, I'm just wondering, has uh, Laurentovic actually come on the pitch? It does not appear so. I think that uh, injury sort of cancelled out his arrival. And in fact, I'm just going to keep that sub in the pocket for the future as uh, Klinsman called into action. Big goal kick from him, but not finding uh, the target in Feely. Instead, the ball is popped around by Minnesota. Molin, uh, sorry, Kevin Molino, uh, really central there to the effort by the uh, the loons, as they are known. Uh, corner should be coming in, but no uh, highlight, which basically says you didn't beat the first man. As far as I'm concerned, if you're not beating the first man from a corner, he should be booked. Uh, Moreno now with the ball in to the near post. Miller, though. Uh, good take from him and a good kick downfield as well. But again, it's Austin on the ball. Cecilio Dominguez, they're not getting it off him. Uh, it's Jimenez and Moreno involved in the attack. And again, Tyler Miller stands firm at his near post. So plenty of endeavour, but we have got a two-goal lead. And we'll always take that every single time. Now Jimenez with the throw-in. Aleshe and Moreno. Some good players. Aleshe has been a really good find. Uh, took him from Columbus Crew where uh, he was sort of bombed out. He wasn't really getting a game. Uh, as Moreno uh, taken down by Gregus. And that is a red card. 
Jan Gregus went in two-footed, and that uh, has cost Minnesota United uh, a player. They're down to 10 men. Can they get a goal, though, to make things a little bit uh, better for them? They can't, because Wondolowski is on the attack. Feely through, and that's going to be a hat-trick, is it? It's a hat-trick for substitute Ben Feely. What a place to get your hat-trick. Allianz Field, he comes away with three goals. The match ball to his name. What a performance. Coming on as a sub, we have missed a trick here. Pursuing with Andre Lima, all the experience in the world, but not getting done in front of goal. This young man certainly is. Uh, and we've now got the opportunity to take off Cecilio Dominguez. Uh, we absolutely don't need him uh, if we are three goals to the good. Let's wrap him in some cotton wool, save him for next time. Sporting Kansas has taken the lead at the Columbus Crew, while Montreal Impact 2 down, uh, sorry, 2 1 down, uh, following a late goal by Bojan, uh, the former, obviously, Barcelona, former Stoke man. Uh, and we are in added time here in Minnesota. The Loons are going down three goals to nil to an impressive performance by ourselves. Austin FC recording. Uh, another win. Absolutely key. Ben Feely up front. Just look, Andre Lima, 6.7 when he came off. A 9.0 for the hat-trick. Ben Feely. And good performances right across the pitch. Look at those. All the green there in defence and in midfield. Only one Dolowski really letting the side down, considering that Cecilio Dominguez came off on a 7.1. Absolutely uh, top stuff from our boys a quick look at the old table reveals us now just two points shy of the seattle sounders so uh, our goal difference plus 19 theirs is 28 so really impressive stuff sporting kansas just one point shy of ourselves and for long time viewers sufferers uh, portland timbers were the team right at the top of the western conference they've slipped down to fourth and we are sort of nine points uh, ahead of them now. We're just a one goal difference in advantage. Uh, considering that they've won 16 games, they've obviously taken a few hammerings uh, along the way. Uh, in terms of the East, well, Columbus crew, uh, they're really setting the standard there alongside Orlando City. But I have to say, Orlando had the chance uh, to overtake Columbus. We saw that uh, they lost 2-1 to Sporting Kansas. Vancouver, 1-0 winners against Orlando City. So just sort of ruining their attempt to uh, get on top of their own conference. Uh, plenty of other results happening today. LAFC over Chicago Fire. Atlanta United picking up a win. They need it as well against FC Dallas. They are now just one point under the playoff line in the East. In terms of the Western playoffs, uh, Houston have made great strides. So they're currently uh, in there in place of Minnesota, who have dropped out following that 3-0 defeat. So plenty to do for them. However, Vancouver, with a game in hand on both Minnesota and Houston, they can win that one. Uh, and they, of course, just did pick up a win against Orlando City. So impressive stuff. They could find themselves above the playoff line and in contention for the MLS Cup which is what we all hope and dream for. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Join me in another week's time. So every Friday we travel over to Austin uh, and indeed Texas to find out how our green and black boys are doing. Uh, they've plenty to do, but uh, we're in with a shout here. There's only a couple of games of the season left before the playoffs begin. And of course, they will be featured uh, here on YouTube. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you then.